Welcome to Morning Prayer and Worship. This is Tuesday in Holy Week in the church calendar. My name is Ben, and I'm so glad that you're here today. If you have a prayer request, go to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. Thank you for setting aside this time as holy. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The Son of God discloses And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet The birds hush their singing And the melody that he gave to me Within my heart is with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever I'd stay in the garden with him Though the night around me be falling But he bids me go Through the voice of woe His voice to me is calling And he walks with me And he talks with me And he tells me I am his own And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. And the joy we share
as we tarry there None other has ever known Psalm 71, 1-14 In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie and wait for my life take counsel together. They say God has forsaken him, go after him and seize him, because there is none who will save. O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. And he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever Amen Our gospel reading is John 12, 20-36 on this Tuesday in Holy Week. Now among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew, and Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Now my soul is troubled. And what should I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it is for this reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it, and I will glorify it again. The crowd standing there heard it and said that it was thunder. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, the voice has come for your sake, not for mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? And Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. 
Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This is Tuesday in Holy Week in the church calendar. We are marking time with God's story leading up to the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, the defeat of death, hell, and the grave, and of sin, and freedom, and of welcoming us to his Father. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively. O God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever known Let's take a few moments Pray specifically and by name for those in our lives today Begin with our own hearts, our joys, thanksgivings, trials, worries, fears, frustrations. Lay it all before Jesus. Whatever situation you are going through, lay it all before Jesus. He walks with you and he talks with you. And he tells you that you are his own. joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known family extended family immediate family whatever that means in your life today lift them up now
the joy we share as we tarry there None other as other no Friends, acquaintances, co-workers, fellow students Lift them up those who curse you as we obey Jesus may it be worship unto him now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore amen and amen go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit he walks with you and he talks with you today amen Morning Prayer and Worship is a production of Steady Stream Ministries. Thank you for your support. BenWardMusic.com slash donate. Bye-bye.